Ah. Finally, it's about time I get the chance to play Bindi and the Dark Revival. This game came out back on November 15th, and the date of recording this is December 6th. It's been more than half a month, but I prom but I was stubborn. I'm a stubborn person. I did not want to start playing Bindi or Pokemon until after I get the last of the Sonic Frontiers videos uploaded. And now that those videos are finally up, I can finally move on. If you're new to the studio, visit us. Mastered the studio. I've mastered the studio a bit before, but to be fair, this is going to be a little bit new because I'm playing on keyboard and mouse this time around. When I played Bendy and the Ink Machine, I was playing on my Switch. Let's see what we got. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. Also, this is going to be a long recording session for me, so I got drink prepared. Back. When you really look at where That's you've been, Joey's apartment, and the things you've done, your past will come to devour you. Okay. Um. June 18th, 1970. Hey! <laughs> Fuck you know. Meatly, what are you doing? I think it said 1873, right? There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Press E to stand. Okay, so there's the mouse. Look around. I like the picture right there of Bindi, Alice, and Boris right there. There's the donut. Okay, E. Time for a little adventure. Okay, moving my keyboard a little bit. Ah, gotta fix the wiring. Okay. So I'm guessing, yeah, WASD, yeah. Employee of the Month Award, Audrey, yeah. A. Hey. Congratulations. Hold up. Uh, how do I, how do I hit pause? There we go. There's pause. Uh, I need controls. Sensitivity. I need this up because I don't have a lot of mouse space right now. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I think I'm good. There we go. That's better. Okay, E is to interact. Okay, got it. What do I hold to Oh. Oh, got a typewriter here. Fire. What is this? Thirsty cold drinks. Ripier, cola, 7 in you. I think that's supposed to be 7 up, so that's good. Spritz, I think that's reference to Sprite. This is so difficult to play with keyboard and mouse because of the limited- Oh! <laughs> I legit jumped. I was not expecting that. <laughs> wow. Who is this? Nathan Ark. Okay. Broad, what the? Oh, what is this right here? Bear trap? <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Really? Oh, come on. Locked me in. Good thing I brought my own key today. How do I run? I want to run. Uh, put this here. 
<laughs> Who put this here? That's, <laughs> that's a straight up reference from chapter one of Ink Machine. Friggin' Floorboard Falls, uh, Henry talks about uh, turning on the main power to the ink machine. He goes out, and there's a freaking bendy cutout. Who put this here? Okay. Where are the keys? Right here? Okay. Whew. Here's the key. What the? Okay. I want to run. How do I run? I'm afraid of, like, rapidly mashing shift to see if that's my run, uh, my sprint button. <laughs> because then I'm gonna get hit with the notification of sticky key. I... <laughs> Why did I flinch? Why did I flinch? <laughs> oh, man. Not the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. Uh, did I just see that mop bucket move on its own? What? What's Hello? Th Is someone there? Oh, jeez! I hate the fucking thunder, dude. I'm like Tails. I have the freaking phobia of thunder. I forgot what it's actually called. Locked door. Over here. My bucket came from over here. Oh, call elevator. Okay. Good night. There we go. There's the button I need. Oh, okay. Wilson. You scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? Uh, of course not. Thank you. Audrey, oh, so he was originally the janitor. You look like you could use a little company. Even his voice, even before he turned. So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful, gorgeous. What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Of course. Happening a lot this past few days. No need to fret. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. Cap! Cap! I don't want to be perfectly safe. I don't want to follow you. Fuck you. Why is there a banjo? Oh, a banjo. Is that Samuel Lawrence? Look at this. Ch oh my god. I want this. I personally want this. The freaking chubby Boris. Yes. I want it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Is that blocked off? What the heck? 
Oh, he has to get there. What is this? Silly Vision. Silly Vision is a cartoon format developed by Joey Drew that allowed for animated cartoons to be completed more efficiently by streamlining the pencil and inking stages and allowing for last-minute adjustments to be made directly on the film stock itself. The film was chemically coated to allow for a specially formulated ink to be applied by an artist working on a magnifying table. This allowed for adjustments, action enhancements, or even whole new characters to be added after the cartoon had been photographed. Mr. Drew intended for this for, uh, the format to be used someday to create interactive experiences where the cartoons could be custom altered to fit the occasion or audience. Huh. That's a freaking lore dump. Okay, Wilson, where the... Oh. My. God. Pedestal. Plushie, music track, inkwell, gear, wrench, book. It's the six artifacts to appease the gods from Ink Machine. God! Damn, dude. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Yeah, no shit. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. <sighs> Do an old man a favor and go find them. I forgot to... <laughs> that's... To the power. I forgot I had my freaking uh, headphones turned on for a little bit. They've been glitching for a little bit. <laughs> so, the moment he's... The moment after he said, Sweet Audrey, he just blared in my ears. I need this. The illusion of living. I need a wrench, or... Okay, I need a plushie. It doesn't make the squeaking noise. That's bullshit. I need the record. Okay. Place the plushie there. There's the record. Yeah, I, I don't want to risk uh, getting fingerprints on the freaking record. There's the book. Okay, so I'm missing inkwell, gear, and wrench. Uh, wait a second. I was gonna say. There's the wrench. Uh, now, if I was a gear, where would I be? I feel like all the artifacts have to be in this room, right? Because the four were, uh, all four of them were just nearby. Unless if, wait, Inkwell? Yes. Heh <laughs> Hey, is that Joey? Yeah, that's Joey. And I, all I'm missing now is a gear. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's put the inkwell where it goes. Honestly, so far on keyboard mouse, this is really good so far. I was worried I'd have to get a freaking Xbox controller to hook up to the computer. Um, okay, so nothing here. So I'm just missing the gear. Where could that thing be? Huh. I don't see it. Oh, it's gotta be in this area somewhere. Because there's no way for me to go back. Uh, also, as far as like each part 
uh, for Bendy and the Dark Revival. I think I'll keep each video like between 30 to 45 minutes each. I'm not too sir, uh, not too certain how long the game is at this point because every single person I'm subscribed to on YouTube, I've seen plethora. I've gotten notifications left, right, and center for Pokemon Scarlet Violet and Bendy and the Dark Revival. I refuse to watch those videos and I refuse to watch the streams because I do not want to get I did not want to get spoiled whatsoever for the storyline or anything. What pisses me off is the freaking thumbnails don't help for, like, as I'm scrolling through YouTube and I see recommended videos, I see get evolutions for each of the regional variants. And I saw one, and it, it freaking spoiled me because there's apparently now an evolved version of Girafferig, uh, Tauros, and Dunsparce, and it pissed me off when I saw that. I'm like, bruh, you spoiled it. The thumbnail spoils shit for me, too. Where the frick is the gear? Wait. Wait. You're joking. I'm just blind as a bat. Okay, this is the last thing I need. Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. Turn on the power. Oh, this is to the ink machine. Dude. It is done. Wilson? Oh, our trees. The things you've set in motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Uh... Can't you hear it? What? Shh. Don't fret. We're going home. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. Because very soon, you will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me. He's not gonna headbutt me, I is he? Show you your purpose. He looks I like his head is fragile. You the truth. This can't be rude. What are you doing? <laughs> For a second there, I thought he was gonna headbutt the shit out of Audrey. <laughs> Jesus. Yes! point out, Bendy and the Ink Machine first came out back in 2017, and it continued being updated until 2018, when the chapters finally uh, all came out. Then 2019 comes around, the first announcement for Bendy and the Dark Revival was announced, and then the entire thing was in the dark until just last month, at the beginning of November, when they revealed another trailer, and they shadow dropped the freaking date. Let's go. The man who killed the ink demon. Wilson knows you. Cap. Okay, I soon I need uh, two of those. What the heck?
Every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal. Please inf to Grant Cohen account. Oh, to Grant Cohen. Okay. So that's Grant Cohen is uh, Will Ryan's DA Games character from Bindi and Ink Machine. Please inform Mr. Drew that despite his insistence that the rumors of Joey Drew Studios going bankrupt are untrue, I want to remind him that if his studio does indeed fail, all equipment and experiments pr produced through our partnership by contract belong to the Gent Corporation. We will reclaim these assets forcibly if necessary. Alan Gray, CEO. So, wait, wait. Oh. oh, there we go. Just what I need. Who the heck is crying? Who is crying? Oh, okay. Seriously, who the heck is crying? Oh, another one? Jeez, you, you think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank uh, takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, time change. Life moves on. Telly Wester. C to crouch. Attention, children what is? Of the oh, I can hide this in the locker. Okay. Your friend, your oh, Sammy Lawrence. There we go, Joey. Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us considering the current situation. We have been with you for many years, and we feel we have contributed to the success of Bindi in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We want to help however we can. Let's talk. Sammy Lawrence. Enter. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away. Gent hearts. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. What is this one? Oh, what the heck? What the heck is this? The ink drips. Darkness has spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, so very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You will feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. Uh, the fact that I see a Butcher Gang poster doesn't give me a lot of courage right now, because I- <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Uh, do you have a weapon I can take, Piper? No? Ah, oh, you're useless. Oh, dude.
Wait, audio tape? I just received the call. End of an era. who is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats in the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy. Bud when I Lewis. Spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> Well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? It's a good question. So, wait, where do I go now? I want to sprint. How the... F okay, there's jump. Hold up, let me check. Uh, controls. No, graphics? No. Okay. Oh, there's... Okay, there's how I... Freaking my webcam's in the way. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. That's how Audrey looks right there. Oh. My. God. That's amazing detail. But I don't know how to sprint, though. That's what's pissing me off right now. Do I go back down here? Well, what do I do? Bro, I seriously have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I'm so lost. <laughs> Freaking. Uh, dude. Come on. Come on, Audrey. Wait. Do I have to climb through the ceiling through, uh, on Piper's body? No. So what? So what the heck am I supposed to do? Because I don't see any other... Oh! I'm stupid. Hold up, I just accidentally moved. Ah. Security override. Left shift to run, okay. Oh, there's a there's a bar at the bottom that shows how much I can run. Okay. Scared the shit out of me. This. Gives me heavenly toy vibes. Heavenly toys! <laughs> Out of order. Oh, damn. Oh, what's up here? Real quick. Oh! Ah! 
<sighs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, Piper. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Oh, dude. Also, the yellow bar at the bottom is my health. Okay. Low on health, grab a snack. Survival will mean some dangerous situations. When you're low on health, you'll need to eat. Locate hidden food stashes all throughout the studio. Bacon soup. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. It helps patch you up, but the aftertaste, it's not so good. Alice. Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wait, this is Alice Sin. Some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know it's scary, but you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Oh, talking about Tom. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. Chapter 1, Drawn to Darkness. How will I know that I found uh, the Ink Demons nearby? Oh, there's a memo. Around here, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some places if you don't know what's in there. If you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble, and that's just foolish. You gotta watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Your best pal. Okay. Oh, what the? Nope. Oh. Was there anything back here that I missed? I would like to have a weapon, please. Please and thank you. Oh, 
What is... What's up here? Oh, there's a radio and an audiobook. Angus Newman. I think that guy was on some shit. The way he was laughing, I think he was on something. Freaking! <laughs> Even at max sensitivity, I still hate the freaking mouse control. <laughs> but it's still. Where's the toy man, Sean? Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Now, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of I don't know electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the door code here so I don't forget it. Four five one. Okay. Uh right. I think I think that's a good spot to stop this video real quick. So, so far, so good. I love everything about this already. The graphics are beautiful. The freaking jump scares, since I've not seen any videos whatsoever of it, they're effectively getting me this time around uh, compared to when I played Ink Machine. Because I played... I first started playing Ink Machine back in... It was Thanksgiving of 2019 when I got the game for my Switch. So, obviously when I recorded my playthrough of Ink Machine, that the jump scares didn't really get to me that often. But the Chapter 3 was still made me very, very anxious. But yeah, th this is definitely getting some jumps out of me. And I am loving it so far. And with that said and done, I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.